The stockings are all hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon will be here. Merry Christmas Eve and welcome to our Christmas Eve special here at Dirt Road Believer. It is a special you are not going to want to miss filled with joy and music. All right, very quickly, I wanna remind you to like, share, subscribe to Dirt Road Believer, and we're gonna draw a winner. You may have noticed I made a mistake on our last video. I said Westminster Castle is where the queen lives. Eh. Windsor Castle, so we are giving away our ornament. Remember the guard, thank you for all who commented and entered to win. Let's see who is going to win. The Kathy Green, you are our winner. And I do know Kathy, and I think I have a way that Santa Claus can get it to her by Christmas. So congratulations, Kathy. All right, we have another prize to give away. And remember, our giveaways continue through the end of December. So we've got two more after today. Look at what we're giving away today. This warm fleece pullover from the Simply Southern collection came from Gaga's Boutique and is a size large. To enter to win the fleece, simply comment Merry Christmas to this video. The music that you are going to enjoy was a part of my Christmas program at my church, Harvest Worship Center in Tryon, Georgia. You can see the full program on Harvest Worship's YouTube channel or Facebook. The first song that you will hear is an original written and performed by Michael Lee Stansel. The other songs have other writers, but they are credited at the beginning of each song. Thank you so much to the performers for sharing your gift of song. We're now we're gonna do a very quick movie recommendation and as always our signature hot cocoa that we've featured all December and then we will get into our music. Enjoy! Our movie recommendation for Christmas Eve. Tally, what is it? The Polar Express. The Polar Express! Go on a daring train ride adventure with a little boy all the way to the North Pole on Christmas Eve. It's a wonderful movie with great music and don't forget hot cocoa. All aboard! This is the Polar Express. Polar Express hot cocoa. You thought the hot cocoa they got on the train was amazing? This hot cocoa is over the top. I have saved the best for last. It is Christmas Eve. Perfect movie is Polar Express and the perfect hot cocoa is Polar Express hot cocoa. Now there are a lot of steps to this. So you're gonna need a Pop-Tart. So you take, we're making the um, front of the train. So you're gonna leave, you've got half a Pop-Tart. You're gonna leave a couple of straight sides and about halfway down, cut to the middle to a point like this. Okay, so we've got the front of the train. You can see here I've already done one and let it dry a little bit. But you just take black icing and outline the edges. And I'm going to try something a little different on this one that I did not do on the last one. I thought it might look more 3D, like the train's coming at you. If you do the first line in the middle straight, I didn't have a good stream there. And then the other one's at an angle. So let's see what this looks like. I think I might like it better. What's everybody doing this Christmas Eve? Are there family get-togethers? Are we making cookies for Santa? What is going on? We have a pretty quiet Christmas Eve here. We have one gift to open on Christmas Eve. We always have to make sure we have our cookies. Now, Max filming. Mac, which one do you like better? Which front of the train? Uh, I like the top one. The top one? Okay. So while we're doing the rest of the steps, we'll let that dry a little bit. Okay, next we're making the light for the front of the train. So I've got a large marshmallow and I've got um, just a little piece of yellow hard candy. We're gonna put a little icing 
just a little bit of vanilla icing on our the tip of our marshmallow so that our candy will stick to it push that down in there so it's not going anywhere and we'll set that to the side now the next thing I have is just a um, this is the lid to a disposable coffee cup anything black and round even if you have to make it um, as I say this is all about wowing your little ones and the top will come apart before they drink it and then I have a Polar Express ticket to get on our golden ticket and I've skewered two marshmallows with a spaghetti noodle that seems to work well and then I've just taped my ticket to the back so we can stick that in so I think we've got everything there is one other item I'm gonna grab and we're gonna assemble all this so here we go all right so we're applying our thick whipped cream to the top and now we're going to assemble our train so we're gonna put our round thing here gonna put our grill I don't know if you call it a grill but whatever the front of the train is there and that gives us room to stick our light for the train all right so we've got that now near the back because it's tall we can make our well maybe we need to do it to the side there we go and then if that is not over the top enough the most giant candy cane I could find we are going to the North Pole after all okay so we had to do this hot cocoa upright so I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve celebrating and watching Polar Express and making your Polar Express hot cocoa This is how the birth of Jesus came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife, but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. We just settled in major and the fear slowly started creeping in. I was holding on so tightly to the vision from an angel that the Savior of the world would come to me. There's no greater honor to be had than the only Son of God to call you today. And every single doubt just went away at the moment I first saw When I finally held him in my arms, I 
can't describe the feeling of love I felt from the gift that keeps on giving. It's hard to comprehend how God could trust me with this treasure. Perfect man, I know I've never been. But he blessed me with a wife who found favor without measure, and a child who redeemed me of my sin. And even though I may not understand. Lord, I'll do my best to give y'all all I can. Cause every single doubt just went away. And at the moment I first saw his face. When I finally held him in my From the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. <laughs> Quiet 
loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. This is love for God, to obey his commands, and his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. You will never away, time stood still long ago. There were shepherds in fields, poor and least. This is how the story goes. The story goes. Thank you. 
nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. That will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men, whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen which were just as they had been told.
when Christ was born.